In this video, we're going to focus on the Chart.js background color automatic, or basically automatically assign a color. So, so far what we have, we have just hard-coded some colors, and this is a part of the Chart.js background series. So, let's start and explore here. So, we have this here, and this is one of the ways how we can do it, and this is really a nice way because this is an alternating option here. What will happen basically is this. The colors start to change the moment uh, we have the values because if you would do a hard-coded value like this What will happen is that everything will be assigned as one single color if you're going to put in a array of values And here we could do as well. Let's say here yellow What will happen if we save this refresh it starts to alternate automatically keep on Looping through basically it loops through these colors and this is one of the ways that is very useful to use for automatic color adjustments so we, if we would put in more colors and you can do this also in different color styles so if I refresh this now we have another color and for example we can use the RGBA colors here and then here we can put in 255 255 uh, what is that oh, like that 255.255.0 and then comma Oh, there should be a comma as well. Zero, and then let me put a space between here. Now we say here zero point five. Why? This is the alpha level basically here, indicating the uh, uh, alpha or transparency level. So they will be visible for fifty percent. If I save this, refresh, there you are. You can see now we get one color here, which is the yellowish color that is slightly transparent here, and this is way how you can do basically automatic but there's a far more advanced way where we can start to just add up colors by itself how will we do it well basically in here we have these numbers here and these numbers can become very useful with a formula so we'll see it in the next video thank you for watching this video and i hope you enjoy it and if you enjoy this video you probably will enjoy this one as well and if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.